In all, the Braves came from behind 46 times to win. This one courtesy of Biff Pokoroba. A 1-1 to Pokoroba. Ground ball, right field. One run is in. Here comes Royster. Pull through. Atlanta wins. Atlanta wins. Atlanta wins. This place is going crazy. Pokoroba drilled one into right field. And the Braves have scored four in the ninth. And they've won the ball game 5-4. With that kind of excitement, Braves baseball was certainly a spectacle to see in 1982, as it all. So many times it happens too fast. With two outs in the bottom of the ninth, and Biff Pokorova at bat. There it is, going deep to right field, going, going, and it is gone. Home run number one for Poco, and a dramatic two-to-one victory for the new Miracle Braves. Game three, tenth inning. Steve Rogers and three others for 15 hits. But after nine innings, the two teams still found themselves in a 5-5 tie. First base, at second base, Jerry Royster, who can run, and here's Biff Pokoroba, who at one time was a pinch hitter, I mean a switch hitter, but he's gone pretty much solely to the left side. And I don't know whether or not uh, manager Whitey Herzog has Jim Cott ready to go after Pokoroba. Behind him was Claude L. Washington, two left-handers in a row. Whether or not he feels he wants to make that move at the moment, we'll have to wait and see, but it appears as though Pokoroba, who's done a good job, he has four for 17 as a pinch hitter with a 275 average overall, is going to get a shot at Doug Bear. So Phil Necro is out. Some of the St. Louis fans applauded that. He pitched six innings, two runs, six hits, struck out five, walked four. Gene Garber will be their new pitcher. And Pokoroba batting left is up with two on, one out, hits a ball to the right side to her. He can only go to first, out, the runners advance, and uh, the leadoff man, Claude L. Washington, is an important man. They may put him on and pitch to Ramirez, the shortstop. Number two. 